Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. The Port Authority of Jamaica is expanding its logistics facilities. This follows Wednesday's official opening of Kingston Logistics Park, which adds 18,000 square meters of warehousing capacity. Javon Keys reports. The Port Authority of Jamaica, PAJ, spent 16 million U.S. dollars to construct the new facility that is adjacent to the Kingston Freeport Terminal. The Kingston Logistics Park, according to Prime Minister Andrew Holness, is one of many facilities being used to push growth in Jamaica's trade and shipping sector. The facility is 200,000 square feet in size. It is 10 meters in clear height which is a standard that international operators will require. With 24 truck high doors and four concrete ramps, it has the accessibility that would be desired by international operators with adequate parking for trucks and automobiles. The Kingston Logistics Park can accommodate up to four clients at a time, with each occupying 50,000 square foot of space. The PAJ says it has so far secured at least one tenant. Mr. Holness says the new facility is a key part of the government's emphasis on logistics. Now we are trying to develop another industry similar to BPOs, but it's a distinct industry in terms of logistics. And this is a big step in that direction in creating a new industry that will create for us a new stream of foreign exchange revenues that will make our economy stronger and more robust and can withstand shocks. As part of that ecosystem, the Prime Minister says there are plans to further expand the Kingston Freeport Terminal. The original plans call for the development of what we refer to as the Westlands the 80 hectare parcel lying between the KFTL's western berth and the Portmore Causeway. The engineering to develop this area is at an advanced stage and interest is high as the KFTL has expressed the need for more land to accommodate increased volumes. He's hoping to break ground for that project in another year or two. For the Business Day, I'm Javon Keyes. Foreign currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for an average $153.69. $119.68 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar and $185.42 for the pound. It's costing an average $159.58 for the euro. And to the stock market now, the JSE index advanced by 480 points today, while the junior market index gained 20 points. Winners include 138 student living variable preference shares, General Accident Insurance Company, Community and Workers of Jamaica Deferred Shares, First Rock Real Estate Investments US Dollar Shares, and Berger Paints Jamaica. Declining stocks include QWI Investments, Medical Disposables and Supplies, CAC 2000 9.5% Cumulative Redeemable Preference Shares, Elite Diagnostics, and CAC 2000. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.